Hello there, Gemini, Gemini Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. This is Chrissy from In the Stars by Chrissy.com. And this is your 2020 yearly tarot forecast reading wherein I pick up one card per month and give you guys a general overview on what you can expect through the entire year of 2020. So this is not meant to be very specific, but it is meant to give you some form of guideline on what you can expect, anticipate, and some form of warning as well so that you will know how to navigate the entire year of 2020. Again, this is still just a general reading, so it may or may not really um, tune in for the rest of you guys, but only time can tell, right? You can definitely go back, you know, as we enter 2020 and to see how this really unfolds for you. But for now, it is a general reading. And it is my hope that it will give you guys some form of insight to navigate the energy throughout the upcoming year ahead. So, um, yeah, let's start off by giving you guys information on what are the cards are telling us for Gemini Rising, Sun, Moon. You have the Five of Pentacles as your first card of the deck for January. You have the Seven of Pentacles for February. For March, you have the Ace of Wands. April, you have the Eight of Swords. On May, you have this Emperor card with you. On June, you have the Ten of Cups. July, Nine of Wands. August, King of Cups. September, you have the Justice card supporting you. October, you have the King of Swords, November, Three of Wands, and you have the Tower card for December. Now, you are starting off the year with the Five of Pentacles, and this can be a point wherein you might be carrying the energy of 2019. Maybe something happened during 2019 that causes this Five of Pentacles. Maybe there is a loss of money, there are problematic issues with your finances that can be coming up. Maybe there is an increase of expenses for January 2020 that causes you to reflect on how you have been handling your money. Also, this can be a point wherein you just might be reflecting on your life and what has been going on. Maybe you are having some form of troubles right there. I kind of feel though that there is something within 2019 that carries over on 2020. But the thing here that I feel is important for you guys is to is to have that mindset that you don't need to bring in the energy, the negative energy of last year. So do know that this is a new year ahead. So you can definitely start from scratch, removing all obstacles of the past. So don't try to be very negative during this time because you have the power to do so. And if you guys can see the image, this man has the money He's not crippled like the usual Five of Pentacles. He has the capacity to take action, but he refuses to do so. So you, what you need to know here is that you have the capacity to do everything that you want or to do things in a way that benefits you. You just need to really take action and have the right mindset on how to go about it. You need to be resourceful. And I kind of feel that that is really going to be the key for the entire year of 2020 for a lot of Gemini people. There's a need for you to be resourceful and not be wasteful with everything, whether it, it's money or other other material material stuff in your life. You need to be careful to not waste anything at all. So let me just check in with my camera. I think I've moved it a bit. So, um, okay. So it's still all good. Um, on my second card over here, we do have this February card. We have the Seven of Pentacles. And 
this can be a time wherein you are going to receive the results of all the hard work that you have been doing. Again, like I said, there is something that you have been putting a lot of effort with. Or this could be a time wherein you are thinking of manifest something in your life, bringing it to reality. It has a pregnant woman to it, and we can see that as if this woman is about to give birth sooner or later. So, um, yeah, this is like a card of patience. You need to be patient during this time on February. And know that the results that you are wanting and seeking will come in due time. Now, as we go over to March, we do have this Ace of Wands. This is a, a sign of new beginning. To be honest, I kind of feel that your new start is really going to be happening on the month of March. Because I kind of feel that January, February, it carries over the energy of 2019 for you guys. So the, the new beginning, like the energy of really the new beginning, new ideas coming into your life will be on March. You will be able to start something new. And hopefully it is something that can last because the thing with the Ace of Wands and sometimes it becomes fleeting, like you are wanting to do things for one moment and then you change your mind. I kind of feel that whatever you... Whatever spark of idea comes into you during this time, take that into consideration and try to commit on it to make it something real, to make it something that lasts for a lifetime, for, for a long-term basis. Now, with April, we do have this Eight of Swords, so you need to be careful of getting sick we do have this you know this is the card of sickness a card of being unable to take action even though you wanted to to do something you might have a hard time to actually implement anything also this can be a time where and you need to, to be careful of the people that really is important to you Try not to be harsh on your words to people. Don't try to lie to people. Don't try to say anything mean to people during this time because you do have a ten tendency to do that. So what you need to know is that you need to be careful of your own thoughts, thoughts to yourselves and thoughts to, your, to other people. You need to take care of people because you don't know what they're going through. They might be, you know, having some form of psychological depression or anything like that. And you don't want to be the harsh person to bring them down when they are already down. So, um, yeah. This can also be a situation wherein maybe there is something that can happen to you when you least expect them to. So caution is really advised during this time. Now... For the month of May, you do have this Emperor card and it's time for you to get to get on track, to get on your action. It's time for you to implement things, maybe things that you are you have been researching and planning all this time. It's time for you to begin and implement them. The Emperor card is a card that leads things. You can lead people or you know, this is a point where in if you have some form of ideas that you want to bring into your life, this is a card that really supports you in your endeavor, basically. Also, there could be a specific person that can be responsible, kind, and um, someone you can anticipate to create some form of, to ignite things. In your life ignite your heart to feel passion again or give you some form of help maybe in your career as well so on June you do have this ten of cups and this is a very wonderful card maybe a time of celebration um, of marriage or um, family time this is a, a time of just feeling good together with the people that are important to you it could be an addition of a, a child in your life as well it's possible either way it is a time of celebration 
So a lot of emotions are coming in for the month of June for you guys. Now for the month of July, you have this nine of wands. So this is about wrapping up things that were unfinished before. So there could be unfinished business that you need to work on during this time or tying up loose ends or maybe there are things that you need to renew that needs to um i don't know to make them a lot stronger because of the image here so basically the nine of wands is always about hard work you need to put in some form of effort so that you can receive some form of results of what you want to happen in your life and then for August, we do have this King of Cups and this could be someone in particular that you are going to attract or you will attract. Or maybe someone is actually um, looking at you, observing you, observing all the hard work that you have, um, you have been putting in your life. They are noticing you and giving you some form of acknowledgement and recognition, which can always be a good thing, of course. So this can make you feel as if all your hard work is leading into something. It's not wasted because someone is going to see through it and maybe they will offer you something in return of all the hard work that you have been working on and doing. So for the month of September, you do have this justice card. So balance is about to take place in your life. This can also be a situation where in, if there is no balance in your life, then this is a sign wherein it tells you that you need to get yourself together and maybe ba learning and learning to balance work life and career. No, work life and your love life, basically. Love and work needs to be balanced. Also, there is something in your life that that needs some form of decision. It could be an idea that you wanted to implement. This time around, you need to create the necessary steps to make it all happen. This, this can be quite a mysterious card as well. There could be issues of litigation that can arise during this time. And it could be related to a past issue as well. I'm just feeling it like that. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So, um, there could be official documents that can come up that can play an important role during this time as well. And then we also have this King of Thorns on October. So there could be serious things that you are planning to do. This is about finding out the truth of a situation. You're, you're learning about something. You are maturing, learning from mistakes. This could be a someone that can help you. We do have this Justice card and King of Swords together. So I'm, I'm getting here like a government figure, authoritative person or a lawyer of some kind that will help you one way or another with whatever venture that you are undertaking at this time. This can be a time wherein maybe you are becoming a more business-oriented person and a person that is very much responsible. So you are maturing with how you are handling things in your life. So for the month of November, you have this free of wands. So everything is really... You have done everything that you can, and right now, all you need to do is to wait for the results of all the hard work and effort that you have placed in. This can be a sign of ease or, or a situation wherein you're trying to, um, to wait for something to happen. There is something that you are anticipating during the month of November, whether you know what you're waiting for, or maybe you are just having this um, psychic downloads wherein you know something is going to happen, but you don't know what. Um, there could be scenarios wherein you are waiting for something, waiting for a miracle maybe, waiting for some form of development to come into your life. It could be waiting for, for a lover as well. 
So, um, yeah, there's a lot of waiting and anticipation that is going to be expected for, from you during November. And on December, you have the Tower card. So, this is a sudden surprise, you know. Something can caught you off guard. Since this is a Tower card, I'm going to be honest, this can be taken in a positive way or in a negative way. So, either way, it is a, an element, an energy of surprise. Like, it could be a sudden insight that can come to you. Or it could be a breaking down of old things that are not working anymore. Or a reconstruction of, of something that needs some form of repairs in your life. Now, the last card that we have over here, you do have this Seven of Swords. And this is like the message and guidance card for out 2020, telling you that there is a need for you to be cautious and the things that you are planning, you need to plan them a lot more effectively. And everything is not just about ideas. Ideas are just going to be ideas if you don't take action. And if you do take action, you need to have a solid foundation, like a step-by-step -step planning for you to implement things into place. So, um, yeah, this is like just a reminder to tell you that, you know, it's okay to be fun. It's okay to be to act on act on a whim. It's okay to be impulsive and spontaneous, but sometimes you just need to grow up. You need to grow up, Gemini, and you need to take things and take life a little bit seriously. And I feel that that is really the biggest message for you for the entire year of 2020. So um, yeah, thank you guys for watching and tuning in with me. I hope that this reading has given you insights and help through how you can navigate the year of 2020. And if you'd like a more personal reading and want to take a deeper look on the situation that is going to come for you for the upcoming year, or if you have certain questions that need answers, uh, you can go through my website in the stars by com slash services and you'll see all of my reading services down there. Or you can just check in the video below this video for more details. So I'm um, here. Yeah, thank you guys for watching and tuning in with me. Please don't forget to hit the like, share, or subscribe button so you get more information on my uploads and videos later on. I'll see you guys again next time. Thank you.